you use the acronym. Now, that I mean, the last video was phenomenal and uh, we're going to keep going back over and over that. You use an acronym called GPS. And I'd love for you to share what GPS means and then we'll go from there. But it, it's, it, it's a very, it's an amazing acronym. So if you can, share it. Yes. Thanks for asking, Dan. Uh, first of all, I asked the question, you know, what's our mind like? Like, you know, because it's a very ambiguous word. Some people refer the mind to the brain, uh, the mind to the divine. There's just so many different meanings. And I thought, you know, how does our mind work? And that was that question was answered. It just came to me in a, in a kind of an idea that it's like a GPS tracking system, so global positioning system. And I thought, well, what acronym would would uh, fit into the way I'm trying to use it, or the way that I'm using it? And it and it came to me that it's our great programmable subconscious. It's really it allows us to put anything or program in anything that we want into it, any goal, any destination. And then our mind works just like a GPS in our car where it calculates the route from where we are right now and it lets us know where we want to go and it always lets us know if we're on course or off course in regards to in relation to where we want to go. Um, so let me just say that again. It, that it works exactly like a GPS in our car. So we have the ability to program in any desired destination and then it calculates the route from where we are to where we want to be and it always lets us know if we're on course or off course in relation to where we're going. And the voice of our subconscious, the voice of our GPS, are our feelings or our emotions. So our, our feeling state, our emotional state, whether we're feeling good means that we're on course and we're going in that direction. We're attracting the people, places, things, events, opportunities, and ideas to us, as well as we're moving in that direction. And when we're feeling well bad, we're off course. Our thoughts are not in alignment with what we want. Our desires, our, well, our wants, our wishes, call them what you want. But it, it's basically where we want to go, our consciously where we want to go aligned with our subconscious thoughts in terms of um, what we believe to be true. So it always is an indicator uh, in regards to our mind, the emotional state or the emotions are the voice of our subconscious. Feeling good means we're on course, feeling bad means we're off course. Now, the map of our subconscious is our mind. The map of our GPS is our is our uh, imagination. Sorry, and so our imagination allows us to see, picture, pretend what we want in the present moment, as if we've achieved it. So then we can start going in that direction. So two very important concepts there is that the imagination is the map of our GPS, the mind or the subconscious, and the uh, uh, voice of our subconscious are. Our emotions and when we when we understand that through awareness we can change our emotional state through suggestions which is really hypnosis so we can keep going in the direction that we're going we can feel good we can appreciate what we want we can enjoy the journey as well as hit those destinations that we want to go to so the analogy is really uh, based on that in regards to the fact that it's it, it's it acts exactly as a GPS tracking system our, our subconscious mind and we are the conscious programmers into it unless somebody programs it for us like what we were talking about before and then we're just on their course we're not on our own course and we're not empowering ourselves to go in the direction that we want to go so fear ultimately is our friend it's not a foe it's not an enemy it's just energy it just lets us know that we're off course it needs to pay attention and we can always change our perceptions so we can embrace fear and fear in fact all situations are situations and some people can react in a very fearful way and some people can react in a very powerful way they can embrace it same situation different response different reaction different perspective so when somebody changes their perspective that's the difference you may have also heard that you know there's that saying is that you know it's not the bad days that count it's how you handle those bad days and very successful people know that and they have that attitude of bring it or bring it on because those those successful people have learned how to handle stress. They've learned how to deal with those bad situations so they can bring on more and then actually produce more and inspire others to do the same.